worldwide for their sultry good looks. And while much of it does have to do with genetics, there are a number of beauty secrets which are still being used today. And we, we are here today with style expert and fashion model, Joanna House, to give us the inside scoop on traditional Latina beauty regimen. Hi, thank you, good Charlene. To see. And good you to be here. And you know not just from, you know, just being all knowing in the style world, but also personally. Yes, my mom is Mexican. I've traveled all over, um, especially to Mexico City several times. So these are traits um, that we're gonna be talking about as far as like the, the physical aspects, but also the natural remedies that we use in Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, all of the Hispanic culture. It's very common to use natural products. So now let's talk, that. you brought some natural yes. um, products that are gonna communicate basically the beauty rituals used by mm -hmm. these Latina beauties. All right, so most importantly, garlic is huge. You can chop up garlic and if you wanna go ahead and put that into your clear nail polish bottles, that's a great way to make your nails healthy and strong. So you put that on your nails? Yes, you put it oh. on your nails. You can chop it up and put it into your, um, what you do is you chop it up and you put it into your nail polish and it's a great way to build stronger nails. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yes. All right, next we have cranberry juice and lemon, which is a great way to rinse your hair. This is pure cranberry. So for a lot of Latina women, they like to kind of keep their color. That's a great way, as well as lemon to kind of get when you're going out into the sun to put a little bit of a color instead of using something processed. Lemon is also very natural and Gives kind a of nice brings a little highlight. Yeah, like a lot of times too, if you can't color your children's hair, you can put that on top of their head, put them out in the sun, and it brings out natural highlights. My mom used to do though. I wanted to get, you yeah. know, when you're young and you want Absolutely. to get your hair colored, she put lemon on my hair and said, because yes. she's Italian, and she'd say, that's what they did that's, in the Mediterranean. That's exactly now, what they did. Now, what's this for? Is this All right, so homemade mass, so it's honey and strawberry and yogurt. That's very big, um, and it's Latina, like homemade mass that you can make at home. And then the next big thing is also to add like a tablespoon of honey in your conditioner. So that's a great way to condition your hair and preserve your color as well. Um, that's a very popular thing to do. Probably the most popular thing and what my cousins do is um, liquefied jitomate, which is tomato, for your hair. If you have very fine hair, limp hair, you would basically liquefy some tomatoes, put it into your hair, and let it rest for about an hour, as well as the avocado. If you want something more conditioning, it's what we use. Um, most of the times, unlike you know, American culture in Hispanic communities, we're always going to the supermarket almost every day. We're going to get fresh produce. We mm -hmm. don't really use freezers in Mexico City. There's no freezers. I mean, now because things are a little more modern, but you really go and get your produce fresh every day. Most countries have all these markets, fresh yeah. markets every day. That yeah, go and every find day. These I remember going with my uncle. <laughs> I was like, every day we have to go there. But that's the social scene. That's yeah. where you see the community. Yes. That's where you talk to people. That's yes. before we were all on Facebook talking that, to each I other. I love Facebook and markets, so it's good. <laughs> and then one of the things that Latina women uh, pride themselves on is obviously being very feminine and letting yes. their natural beauty shine Huge. through. Huge. Uh, Latina women are very feminine and they're also about being girly. We call this thing called manita de gato, which means a little kitty cat touch. So they're always going out, they're putting on their little bit of makeup, whatever it is. They always are represented with for gorgeous hair, but we'll get into that later. But for when it comes to the makeup, Latinas don't like to be overpowered by their makeup. They like to let their natural beauty shine through. So what always is great is that there's various uh, skin tones for, for mm -hmm, Latinas. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, people think it's just one way. No, from fair to golden to dark, it's all varied. So what I did was I pulled some, you know, various shades that you can use. And a lot of times, if you use just a tinted moisturizer, you know, it, this is what they use. Um, to put into your skin and work it in. It's moisturizing. That's what a lot of these women have, that glowing sort of look. Um, and then what they also love is we have Jennifer Lopez. Is it the smoky brown eyes? So that's so, a Yeah, because they're definitely, I mean, she's certainly one of the most famous and yes. known for her look. Yes, and she's very girly, always put together. I love her makeup. Every time I've seen her, I met her once in person, and I was stunned at how beautiful she really is. And to have a palette that, you know, has all the different shades of browns is a beautiful thing. Also, Lashes. Lashes are huge in Latina communities. They love to have the power of lash. It means a lot to them, whether it be getting lash extensions or curling their lash. And last and most importantly is toned lip, uh, which is very a great idea to use a concealer like this. Laura Mercier, instead of putting on an actual tone, you can use a toned lip. All great ideas. Well, Yana, thank you so much thank for you. your expertise on the Latina mystique. And if you'd like to sponsor a Beauty Buzz segment and have Yana feature your products or business, reach out to her on her Facebook page.